Good morning, good morning guys. Greetings from Lima, Peru. Yes, we are finally doing some sightseeing today because yeah. we've been here a few days just eating, drinking, eating, socializing. Drinking, socializing. It's been fantastic, but we need <laughs> to start moving our skeleton a bit to burn off some calories. Um, yeah, so today we have signed up to do a bus tour with Turibus yeah. of the historic center and we've done a similar tour with Mirabus in the right. past. I feel like I've done that tour like three times, right. but my sister's husband has never been to Lima. It's his yeah. first time here and he needs to see the city. Yeah, we're basically going to show him and mm -hmm. also we're departing from a different area. Normally we've yes. departed from uh, Kennedy Park, Park de Kennedy, yeah. but this time we're departing from Larcomar mm -hmm. and it should be really cool because we don't go to the like the central downtown part of Lima that much. Not very much. No. Yeah, so it's going to be nice to go back and check that out today. Yeah, and the price was 25 US dollars, right. I think pretty good for a three hour yeah. tour. 25 US dollars, I think you can also pay in soles, is that right? You can, you can pay by card, yeah. cash, but yeah, I think it's time to go meet our bus. We do so have to catch it. Let's go. Let's do it. Also, look who we've met here. It's none other than Paddington Bear. Paddington Bear. And he's been here for a couple years now, since 2015, and we've yeah. always wondered, like, what's the significance of it? Yeah, like, we didn't know he was <laughs> Peruvian. He's Peruvian. Let me, let, me, let me tell you here. So, he left his native Peru and was found in Paddington Station in London. That's crazy. I thought Paddington Bear was British. I mean, the outfit. Come on. Paddington the Bear outfit. is Peruvian. Maybe you guys learned something today, or maybe you already knew he was Peruvian. Where are you going, Pidgey? Donde esta, Pidgey? Donde esta? So we bought some snacks from a little stand while we're waiting for the bus. Just running late, by the way. Yeah. But I have an empanada de pollo. Yeah. Chicken. Chicken empanada. Apple pie. Yeah, some kind of apple tart. What do you have, Ashley? I'm already eating my pio no no. Delicious. 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 So that's like cake filled Looks with so like good. Mar blanco, which oh, is so delicious. And I'm fasting today, guys. So You're sad. So sad. He says for the next hour. Look for the next, yeah. Chicken. I'm sure. Onions. We are seeing Huacapuclana from a distance. This is just a quick stop. No getting off the bus, but we've yeah. been in there before. We've been in there. Last time we were here. <laughs> it's, it's really neat. Finally entering the historic center. Yeah, it takes a little while. I know, there. lots of traffic today. Tons of traffic today. I've had a bit of a nap. Yeah. <laughs> we tend to do that whenever there's a long bus ride. Another attraction that we're only seeing and passing. This is Plaza San Martin. Nice gardens. You've got San Martin on his horse. But yeah, we won't be walking around here. At least not on this bus tour. And my mom is now going to show us where my grandfather used to work along here where he had his doctor's office, his medical practice. At Plaza de Armas, we have five minutes for photos. Yeah, we do. Five minutes. Five minutes. So we're just gonna go around quickly, and it's so cool. This really nice uh, couple from San Diego met us. Yeah. They've been watching our videos, and they came over and said hi. Just the nicest people. Yeah. And so it's just it's made the experience even cooler. All right. The people have watched our videos. And now we're gonna give you guys the quickest tour of Very this quick. plaza. Let's go. Very quick. So here we have the cathedral. Moving over, just behind the fountain, we have the bishop's palace. Turning over, we have the government palace. 
Sam's busy taking photos here and over on that side. City Hall, four major landmarks and one square. behind I'm just going around grabbing as many photos and videos as I can but you guys I almost completely lost you guys I know it's this this is not happened. the kind of tour where you get a lot of time to just wander yeah. around it's very quick exactly. a quick a overview quick. of downtown on, Lima on your toes. so we are now visiting the convent of San Francisco this is where we're gonna be spending most of our time it's the main attraction we're covering today on the main bus tour Hola. however no photo and no video allowed inside which really sucks because i've been here like three times before and it is impressive so we'll just show you the exterior just exited the convent of San Francisco. What did you think? You've been here several times now, so. Yeah. And unfortunately the rules haven't changed. You are not allowed to take any photos or video. I had completely forgotten about that. That's why I you were know. like, let's make a vlog. This will I, be fun. I don't know how that slipped our, uh, <laughs> our mind. Anyways, oh, the actual experience of going and seeing it with your own two eyes is quite fascinating. Yeah. When you go down into the catacombs, the tunnels are really small. They're definitely not made for people that are six foot one. Such no. As myself. It's a little stuffy in there, but it's just fascinating seeing all of the different bones. And, Skulls. And, and yeah, it's like a labyrinth down there. Yeah. You can easily get lost. Yeah, and aside from that, they also have a really cool courtyard and you can see old paintings that they back from the time of the colony and yeah. carved ceilings. So, so It's also a reminder too, like if you haven't been somewhere in, in, in a couple of years, sometimes it's re it's nice to redo places. Again. Yeah, you forget so much. You forget so much. Sitting in the back row. Yeah, there's some shade back here. It's a little cooler. And yeah, I might even like, I might even take a nap. I'm a little bit sleepy. I don't know about you. So this is the last stop of the tour. Riding by the ocean past El Parque del Amor, the park of love. Back in the apartment, back in my grandma's apartment actually. So yeah, we just finished the hop on, hop off. No, it wasn't hop on, hop off. It was just a bus tour. There just was a bus no tour. hopping on and off. We hopped off once, we got back on and we came back. Oh, I've been sitting in the sun. I think I'm a little burnt. So I'm yeah, like, oh. on the ride back, we probably should have taken shade in the in the lower Take compartment. Shelter, yeah. shelter, I should say. We did not. But we're cooling off with drinks. Food will be coming in a bit. Yes, show we us, are having causa. Show us the stash of drinks we have. Well, lots of Inca Cola. That's probably the most Peruvian thing here. Yeah. And then we have Coke, we have Schweppes, and yeah. Now we, we have Inca corn as a little snack. Oh, so good. But yeah, the main thing the to Inca do is corn, get Inca corn is one of my favorite snacks here. Why don't, why don't we show that while we wait? Show us the Inca corn. Inca corn. It's Pop massive it right corn. Can I open it? Ugh. Ugh. Oh, it's a new can. Okay, here we go. Let's see those big muscles of yours. Musclies. Pop it open. Oh, there we go. It's fried corn. Look at that. Look at the size. And I'm breaking. Uh, this is a 22 hour fast, guys. I'm oh so hungry. Gosh. <laughs> right now. Mmm. <laughs> it's so good and salty, huh? Mm -hmm. Crunchy nice too. Snack. Yeah. Potatoes. That's the yellow that's potatoes it. for the yeah, calza. Yeah, that's and it. Another what, kind what, of potato. What's in here? Oh, what's in here? Oh, here is the, the, the chicha morada. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's going to be uh, it's like a chicha morada stew. Masamora morada. Masamora morada. Masa 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 oh. Yeah, half of it is to, for a drink and later on it's uh, for 
to make like a pudding. Like a pudding? Yeah. yeah oh, the dessert. Already. I've tried it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, one, it's like one. a, it's the posture. It's yeah. delicious. I don't know if this is some kind of invention or if this is really Peruvian food. But we, we may have invented this on the spot. Pineapple and chicken and red onions. Yeah. It's being and served and were, I'm hungry what so were I'm they, What were they saying its name was in, in Spanish? They can't figure it out. Pollo piña or something pollo like that, piña? right? Pollo con piña. Pollo con piña. Is it a tasty? little snack until the causa is ready. It is tasty. I'm starving. We've been out all day. Chicken. Chicken in the bowl. Chicken stuffing. Sam's first causa in a long time. Yeah, really, in really excited time. about this. Yellow Tell us about the ingredients. Oh, it's like yellow potatoes. Looks like so we have peas, we have chicken, mm -hmm. we have eggs, egg on top, black olives, olives lots of mayo. It's delicious. This is like a potato shepherd's oh, yeah. pie, I would say. Red onions? Sam? Oh, yes, please. Thank you. Ooh. I'll have that'll give onions it too. that'll give it a little bit of um kick. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's really tasty. Nice right. and uh, I guess it must be cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, mm. It's really tasty, nice and starchy. And after doing all that walking, it kind of sightseeing. Actually it wasn't that much walking, but I'm just hungry. Very little walking, just lots of bus riding. <laughs> yeah. Also you still have your sticker on you. Whoops. Turibus. Turibus. All right, that was a lot of food. Uh, we're tired and we're ready to sleep. So it's gonna be siesta time. Thanks for watching guys. Sorry that we couldn't take you in and film in all those places, but it was still a really fun day. And it's always nice to finish off spending some time with family. So that was a real bonus too. So we'll see you guys in the next episode. Ta -ta.